Ward Hunt June 14, 1810, to March 24, 1886, was an American jurist and politician. He was Chief Judge of the New York Court of Appeals from 1868 to 1869, and an Associate Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court from 1872 to 1882. Early life Hunt was the son of Montgomery James Hunt, d. 1871, longtime cashier of the Bank of Utica, and Elizabeth Stringham Hunt. He was a classmate of Horatio Seymour at the Oxford and Geneva Academies, and graduated from Union College in 1828, where he was an early member of the Kappa Alpha Society. Then he studied law with Juge James Gould at Litchfield Law School in Litchfield, Connecticut and with Hiram Dinio in Utica, and was admitted to the bar in 1831. Career He was a Democratic member from Oneida County of the New York State Assembly in 1839, and was mayor of Utica in 1844. In 1848, he joined the Free Soil Party, and in 1855 he was among the founders of the New York Republican Party. Hunt remained in private practice until 1865, when he was elected to an eight year term on the New York Court of Appeals on the Republican ticket, to succeed to the seat held by his former law teacher and partner Hiram Dinio. Hunt became Chief Judge in 1868 after the sudden death of Chief Judge William B. Wright. In 1870, he was legislated out of office, but was appointed one of the Commissioners of Appeals. U.S. <inaudible> <inaudible> Supreme Court Hunt was a friend and patron of political boss Roscoe Conkling, who was an associate of President Ulysses S. Grant. When Samuel Nelson retired from the Supreme Court, Conkling asked Grant to nominate Hunt for the vacancy. Hunt was nominated on December 3, 1872, confirmed by the U.S. Senate on December 11, and took his seat in January 1873. Hunt had little impact on the court, siding with the majority in all but 22 cases in his ten years on the job and writing only four dissenting opinions. His most notable contribution came while writing Circuit in New York, where he presided over the United States v. Susan B. Anthony. Citing the Fourteenth Amendment, Susan B. Anthony argued that she was constitutionally guaranteed the right to vote and had not broken the law when she voted in the 1872 election. Justice Hunt refused to allow Anthony to testify on her own behalf, allowed statements given by her at the time of her arrest to be allowed as testimony explicitly ordered the jury to return a guilty verdict, refused to poll the jury afterwards, and read an opinion he had written before the trial even started. Hunt found that Anthony had indeed broken the law and fined Anthony $100, which she refused to pay. In 1878, Hunt suffered a severe paralyzing stroke, which prevented him from attending court sessions or rendering opinions. Nonetheless he did not retire, because at the time in order to retire with a full pension a person had to put in at least 10 years of government service and a minimum age of 70. To encourage him to retire, Congress passed a special provision under which he could receive a pension if he would retire within 30 days. Hunt did so on January 27, 1882, and enjoyed his pension until his death in Washington, D.C., four years later. Personal life In 1837, Hunt was married to Mary Ann Savage 1819 the daughter of U.S. Representative and Chief Justice of the New York Supreme Court John Savage, with whom he had three children, one of whom died in childhood. Together they were the parents of Elizabeth Stringham, Eliza Hunt, who married Arthur Breeze Johnson 1829 to 1883. After his wife's death, he remained a widower for eight years until 1853 when he married the daughter of James Taylor, the former cashier of the Commercial Bank of Albany. Hunt died on March 24, 1886 in Washington, D.C. He was buried at the Forest Hill Cemetery in Utica. <laughs> <laughs> 